Good morning, friends. This is Dr. Karan from Dr. PK Live. Today is Friday, August 8, 2025. Hope you are doing well and uh, ready for the weekend. And today in this video, I'm going to talk about the gut health and brain degeneration, the hidden connection. And this is an emerging field in the medicine and more and more we are finding out. So I need to empower you and provide you all the information so that you can make informed decision. So did you know that health of your gut can literally shape the future of your brain? Recent research shows that Alzheimer's disease, Parkinson's disease and other neurodegenerative uh, disease may actually start in your gut. So the, today I'm going to explain this fascinating gut-brain connection and share powerful steps uh, you can take to protect your mind starting in your stomach. How fascinating is that? So understanding the gut-brain axis. The gut-brain axis is two-way communication network between your gut and your brain. No, mat, no wonder they're just saying that you are what you eat, right? So it involves the vagus nerve, which is the most important nerve in the body, and the immune system and gut microbiome. The trillions of bacteria, hundreds of trillions of bacteria we all have. The bacteria, the viruses and the fungi living in your intestine. And these microbes produce neurotransmitter like serotonin. Do you know that 70% of your serotonin is produced in your gut and 50% of your dopamine is produced in your gut? Yeah, that's, that's true. Uh, so these microbiomes, they produce neurotransmitter like serotonin and dopamine and GABA. And the same brain, brain chemicals that regulate our mood, memory and cognition. No wonder people get pissed off if they have upset stomach or constipation or diarrhea and this and that, they don't feel good, right? That's the reason. So disruption in gut bacteria causes inflammation and inflammation uh, leads to harmful compounds entering your bloodstream, crossing the blood brain barrier and triggering brain cells damage. Example, Parkinson's disease patients often have gut issues years before tremors begin. In Alzheimer's, chronic gut inflammation can speed up amyloid plaque formation. Okay, so what is the science linking gut to brain disease? Leaky gut. L leaky gut leads to basically leaky brain. The poor gut lining lets toxin like lipopolysaccharide LPS into bloodstream and they can breach the brain's defense defense mechanism causing neuroinflammation. Microbiome imbalance called dysbiosis. So dysbiosis is like too many harmful bacteria and there's a loss of beneficial bacteria. This leads to stress in the brain because bad thing gets absorbed. Chronic inflammation, pro-inflammatory cytokines from the gut keep the brain's immune cells, microglia, activated leading to nerve damage so that part of the chronic inflammation nutritional deficiency damaged gut leads to poor absorption of b vitamins omega-3 and magnesium all crucial for brain health so leaky gut leaky brain microbiome imbalance chronic inflammation nutrition nutrient deficiency now how can you prevent and protect Feed your microbiome. Those gut bacteria needs to be fed a right kind of food. High fiber, plant rich, leafy greens, berries, legumes, nuts, prebiotic food like garlic, onions, asparagus, etc. Add probiotic source, which is fermented food, yogurt, kefir, sauerkraut, kimchi, miso, fermented food, any fermented food from any parts of the world you like. Um, they are helpful because, this, because uh, those fermented food have lactobacillus and bifidobacterium strain, which are good bacteria, okay? You can also 
take probiotics. That will help you too. Reduce gut inflammation. Avoid ultra-processed food. Refine sugar and excess alcohol. Um, make sure you have anti-inflammatory herbs like uh, turmeric, ginger, green tea. Uh, make sure you support your gut lining integrity. So bone broth, L-glutamine, zinc, uh, carnosine, polyphenol from blueberries and berries, um, and olive oil. And how you balance the brain's fuel. Ensure you have adequate uh, omega-3 fatty acids like in fatty fish, salmon, uh, uh, mackerel, and uh, uh, sardines, uh, flax seeds, walnuts. Uh, maintain stable blood sugar to protect your brain from oxidative stress. And manage stress and sleep. Chronic stress disrupts microbiome and increases cortisol level. That's not good for you. Make sure you sleep seven to nine hours. Okay, so um, what happens, good quality of sleep, a lot of brain detox via glymphatic system. You know, you have lymphatic system in the body, brain has glymphatic system. Um, so your gut is not just about digestion. It's a control room for your brain. <laughs> Uh, future by protecting to you, protecting your gut microbiomes today, you could lower your risk for devastating disease tomorrow. So start small, eat more fiber, cut your processed sugar, nurture those good gut bacteria. Your brain will thank you for the rest of your life. And thank you for watching. I appreciate all of you there, and be happy and take care of yourself.